Hey girls, this is Katie. This is gonna be my super quick 13 weeks video because I am working on my first trimester review video that is gonna be um, full of more interesting, fun things. But I just wanted to, for my own purposes, so I can look back and remember what 13 weeks was like, um, do a short video about what's new this week. So first off, um, thanks to people who gave me advice about telling my boss. I did tell my boss this week, and um, especially there was a YouTuber, um, I think her name was Biddybop7, um, who suggested not being apologetic when you um, break the news. And that was really good for me because that's my natural inclination to sort of like, oh, you know, I, I'm sorry if this is going to affect you. I don't want this to affect you in any way, like, kind of thing. Um, but instead, I just went in like really confident and just said, you know, I just have this really great news um, to share and sort of left it at that. And he's like a super sweet old man. Um, I didn't I didn't expect a bad reaction from him. Um, I'm just like I said, I'm just really private about um, talking about personal stuff at work. So that was my reservation, but it went really well. So um, thanks. New symptoms this week, I was all prepared in my first trimester review to talk about how um, a lot of people experience acne during pregnancy and so far I have not had any. Um, my skin has been a lot better than usual, actually, up until yesterday. So that's what I get for being overconfident. Um, I'm totally breaking out now, so um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll be a second trimester thing. Awesome. Um, the other new symptom this week, uh, it's TMI, but um, constipation. I know people complain about it when they're a lot further along. Um, it's just sort of the name of the game, I think, from um, here on. But I eat a lot of fiber. Um, I, like, I eat prunes. <laughs> so I hope to not have this problem very often. Still having back pain. Um, I might get into that. If it keeps up, I'll get into that a little bit more because I have... Um, some uh, history of back issues that I sort of always afraid were going to be exacerbated um, in pregnancy. And um, after about two weeks of my fatigue and nausea being a lot better, this week has actually been a little bit worse. So maybe I'm just stressed going into the holidays, um, but I have seen a slight uptick in that and I wasn't really expecting it. But the really good news is that um, I did actually sleep one night this week where I didn't have to get up and pee. That hasn't happened since um, since I first found out I was pregnant, even before then, really. Um, since we like first conceived, I've been peeing at least once a night, and I think my record is like four. Um, but I made it through a night. <laughs> it, was, it, felt, it felt so good. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys one project I did, <clears throat> excuse me, one project I did this week. Um, I crochet, and um, crocheting is really simple. I really like it. For me, it's really relaxing. Um, if you are trying to conceive and you have a hard time getting through the two-week wait because you feel like you have nothing to keep yourself um, distracted, I recommend learning to crochet. It's really easy to pick up. Um, I just taught myself by reading books, and um, there, are, there are tutorials on YouTube, um, but I like it. It's a really nice hobby. So I made just a little tiny baby hat. I haven't finished it off yet. Um, but little brim rolls down so hopefully it'll last longer and this is just an end but I'm thinking of putting a little tassel or something. I think that'd be cute. I love babies in yellow. So that was my first project. I have a lot of sewing and crochet projects planned but um, so far that's the only thing I've had time for. So other than that I just want to show you um, I'm going to do a belly shot and measurement. I've really felt a difference. Um, really, I think over last weekend, so I was like maybe 12 and a half weeks, um, I just felt like my abdomen just like exploded. <laughs> I don't think I look that different, but I really, really feel a difference. Like I can feel my uterus, um, and I haven't felt that before. Um, I have a tipped uterus normally. And actually, I was just watching a video um, by Courtney of Kyle and Court, um, and she was talking about having a tipped uterus also. And 
I always thought that if you have a pregnancy, it sort of corrects itself, and then from then on, it's normal. But she was saying that's not true, because after her um, first, it has gone back to being tipped. So the when she went for an ultrasound, the, the tech was having a really hard time um, finding where she was looking for because her uterus was tipped back again. So, But she said that around 12 weeks, it just naturally grows to the point that it tips forward into like the normal position and I'm pretty sure that that is what has happened because it's so much more noticeable. And I found the hop, the heartbeat using my Doppler, which I have not been able to find um, since I bought the thing and it came in about seven and a half weeks. And just like on, as a fluke, I found it right away and then since then I've not been able to. But um, this week, again, success. So I really feel like my uterus has changed position. Um, let me see what you guys think. Oh my gosh, take this off. Okay, I just came home from work. So this is going to be a little inaccurate because um, normally I do these and I take the measurement after I've eaten, but I haven't eaten yet. So, um, again, I don't really think I look very different. But for me, I can really, I feel more solid. Um, you know, I can, I can feel where my uterus is now, and I've never had that before. Um, one of my books mentioned that your, my uterus is now about the size of a grapefruit. My fruits are really cold because they were in the refrigerator. But I wanted to show you, okay, so my uterus is here, and it's about the size of a grapefruit, and it's like rising up at this point. So it's just below um, my belly button. The baby this week, is supposed to be around three inches. So um, all the books say a peach. And I don't, obviously don't have any peaches, but I have a small apple that's about the size of a peach. So just for a visual, it doesn't really show up, but this is what I'm making room for right now. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Huh. I don't know how to make it more visible. You guys get it. Okay, really quick measurement. Okay, so I'm still at 32 inches. That's not changed since um, my last measurement, which I think was two weeks ago, but whatever. I'm telling you, I really feel different. So it's cool if I don't look that different yet. Um, okay, one last thing just about the contest. Um, I'm definitely going to still have my subscriber um, contest slash giveaway, but I've got too much going on. Um, we decided that we're going to go to L.A. Um, to my in-laws for Christmas, so there's just a little bit too much to do right now. So I'm going to postpone that until after the holidays, um, possibly in the new year. But um, I haven't forgotten about it, so don't forget about me either. Baby dust to everyone who's trying. I hope you get your Christmas BFPs. And um, keep an eye out for my first trimester review video coming very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I was about to upload this video and I realized I forgot my best thing about week 12 and I'm just gonna say it was finding the heartbeat because it had been so long um, I've been trying for like five weeks <laughs> so to finally find it and know that still everything is cool and um, I feel like we're in good shape uh, we have a mid midwife appointment in two weeks but um, I feel you know confident that things are good between now and then. So beat away, little heart.